Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today we continue this as the second video about the same filament marketing starter by Sabatino. If you haven't watched the first video, you may find it in the list of Filament Daily channel videos. On YouTube this was about trade, about copy from local action put into a trade as repeatable. And today we will talk about another repeatable function in filament used in that marketing starter. So take a look. In the post, we have new posts and we have a few fields here. Title, slug, a few more fields, SEO stuff and content blocks. And this project is a CMS that contains both posts and pages. So in the pages form, in the new page, we have title, slug, SEO and content. So some of those fields are identical, repeatable, whether it's posts or pages. So general question, how to build some kind of a set of fields which could be reusable? And the author of this CMS came up with the concept of building blocks. Let me demonstrate. So here's the code. In the post resource of filament, we have this form schema, properties, make, and the list of properties. This is the list for the posts, and then a few more fields extra on top. For page resource, if we take a look, properties, make, form, and then one more field, rich content. So properties make with just form and then properties make form with extra fields or overridden fields. What is that properties thing? Properties, if we go on top in the use section, app filament block groups properties. So it's a custom PHP class. It's not a filament. It's not PHP make artisan something. It's just a PHP class that has make function. And in the good fashion of latest PHP and Laravel version, PHP Storm underlines that it should have a return type. So we may add array. So what that method does is builds the array of those fields, repeatable. So by default, it has title, slug, then more fields, but those fields are in the if conditions. So if the array of parameters, this array of fields has published that, it is added. Same for featured image, short description and SEO fields. And then at the end, we return the array of section make properties with that schema and schema is that array of fields. And then what happens in the resource, we're using that, let's open that up properties again, and those properties make form return array of fields. And then there's this operator. This is a PHP operator appeared in 5.6 from what I remember. Yep, in the official docs of PHP 5.6, we have argument unpacking. Officially, it is called argument unpacking from arrays, for example, but generally in programming outside of PHP, it is called splat operator. And I have a few videos about that with examples with that dot 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 on my Laravel daily channel. So I will link those in the description below. But basically, it unpacks the array into individual variables, which are then added into the actual schema array. So in the end, it would be one level array instead of array of arrays. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you kind of reusable fields formed into a class of properties with one method that returns the field that you need. And you may customize it by specifying your own fields or maybe if you want build more logic more customizations more parameters and stuff like that but the logic is pretty smart and useful what do you think if you had that scenario of reusable fields did you solve that in a similar way or differently let's discuss in the comments below and if you want more filament examples like sabatino cms here we have quite a few filament examples on our well filamentexamples.com i will just Scroll down really quickly. There are small projects, bigger projects, premium, some of them free. So you may get that all in one time purchase of currently $99, currently 73 examples at the time of shooting this video. And I'm waiting for Filament 4 to build more new ones and update the existing ones to Filament 4 later in 2024. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.